Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to fabricate a finger spring. Finger spring is also called as a single cantilever spring. It is used for the mesiodistal movement of the teeth. For example, closure of the midline diastema. The armamentarium required are 0.5 mm gauge wire, universal plier, a wire cutter and a marker. The parts of a finger spring are a helix of a diameter 3 mm, an active arm 12 to 15 mm long, a retentive arm of about 4 to 5 mm long and a retentive tag. First, we cut an appropriate length wire and straighten it. Now the wire has been the wire is adapted to the cervical undercut of the tooth and then to the distobuccal embrasure. Now the wire has been adapted to the cervical line of the tooth. Then we will give a sharp bend on the wire and we will mark it. Look at the mark. Give the sharp bend and then adapt to the palatal surface. Now the wire has been adapted to the palatal surface. Now a mark has been has been given where helix has, is to be given. The helix is made of three millimeter diameter. With active arm towards the tissue surface. Helix is positioned opposite and perpendicular to the intended tooth movement. The helix is placed along the long axis of the tooth to be moved.
Now the wire has been adapted to the palatal surface. After this, we will give a retentive tag. Okay. Now the finger spring has been adapted to the palatal surface. As you can see, the helix, the retentive arm is away from the tissue and the active arm is towards the tissue surface. Here are the views of finger spring from all the sides.